With the new year comes a high rate of depression and suicide, which is more prevalent in January. Do you know that? But there is so much that can be done to help yourself or a loved one who may be struggling. Here to tell us more is Jay Minet and Dr. Charles Collins, both of you with University Hospital. Thanks for coming in. Yes, Let's start you. with you, Dr. Collins. You are um, the Senior Vice Chair of Department of Psychiatry for University Hospital. Yes, I am. What are the signs and symptoms and the difference between just post-holiday blues and something a little more serious? Well, we have a disorder that's called major depressive disorder, and typically that's something that happens after a two-week period. Uh, the symptoms are uh, sadness, uh, a loss of appetite, decreased interest, decreased motivation, but the more serious symptoms of people being thinking about suicide, and so okay. that's something that we think about. Now, the post kind of holiday blues is just being us a little stressed out and anxious as a result of being with family members, uh, <laughs> that can for be one, right? and that could, that could be a little stressful. So, and that is subsides, but major depressions persist. In this particular area, particularly in January, we have another uh, depression that's called seasonal affective disorder, which no people sunlight. have talked about. Yeah. Actually, the sunlight decreases, and, and, and lot, lots of parts of the United States are like that, in which people develop very serious uh, depression during that time. Okay. I want to get to how we treat that in a minute, but I want to move over to you, Jane, because as a social worker, there's a mobile crisis unit. If you didn't know that, there is one. So. What should people know about that mobile unit, how they need, when they should make a call to you and how to do that? Okay, well, when someone is experiencing a psychiatric emergency, be that depression, psychosis, um, sometimes suicidal, they can make a call to the mobile crisis team and they will respond to the individual's home and meet with the patient, with the family members, people who care, the support systems, and we'll come up with a plan that will address some of the symptoms that they're experiencing, provide them with information, and also give them a referral. Okay, you just saw that number, 584-8577, I believe it is, area code 513. That's a number to call. So if people, if you know someone or you're feeling like I am overwhelmed here, this is not just I'm not feeling so great or I'm right. missing my family, this is something much more, you guys will jump into action and help out, right? Yes, we will go and go to their home anywhere in Hamilton County. We're funded by the Hamilton County Mental Health and Recovery Services Board. Mm -hmm. It's paid through by the tax levy. And so it's free to any Hamilton County resident. Now you have new home as well. Yes, we do. Uh, very recently, uh, University Hospital moved our psychiatric services to University Hospital at Deaconess. I want to emphasize it's still University Hospital, it's just at another location. It's just in the Deaconess building. It's in the Deaconess building. We, we occupy 75% of the building now, where we have our inpatient service, which has 72 beds, which is wow. an increase for us by 50%. In addition, we have a psychiatric emergency service in which mobile crisis teams runs out of. Mm -hmm. And that is for people who are having psychiatric emergencies, different kinds of stress. We're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and people are free to come in at any time. Really? So yeah. no, there is help out there. There is help. One last question, and we have to go, so I'll make this quick. Is Cincinnati, the tri-state area, unusual in that it's it's a need for psychiatric services, or are we just pretty much like the rest of the nation? Well, well I, th I think here that we have, we're organized a pretty good system of mental health care compared to the other parts of the nation. So I think we do a good job here, but I do think that we're seeing increased numbers because it's just stress that people are under financial Economy and a lot of tough. other things. It's yes. Really it sure is. I'm glad that you both were here. I'm glad that we could get that information to you. Um, again, if you need that number, it's 513-584. Nah, I'm not going to remember the last of it. 584. I'm sorry. 584-8577. There it is. 8577. Sorry about that, folks. And we'll have stuff on the web for you if you need it. Thanks so much for coming in, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Just ahead, we have an update on the.